All right, so welcome back, guys, or welcome. This is your first time here. I'm Vision here with Blind Entertainment, bringing you guys another video. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts and opinions and some predictions on the titles and synopsis released for the second half, all episodes of Fear the Walking Dead Season 4. Now, if Fear the Walking Dead is something you're interested in, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the bell icon. That way, you don't miss any future videos on Fear the Walking Dead moving forward. Now, let's begin. So, first up, we got episode 9 titled People Like Us. Now, the synopsis for this episode reads Morgan tries to help Alicia and the fractured group of survivors as a storm brews. Now, I'm very excited for this, especially the second half. I know there's been a lot of controversy and stuff regarding fear in the second half, depending on what they do with Morgan and Alicia. Not much to go off with this synopsis. Seems like Morgan's just going to be helping Alicia and the group, you know, come to terms with Madison's death and move forward. Nothing too much to go on there. I'm going to see what goes on here and how Morgan's, well, his storyline will fit into the this, the group's storyline as they move forward into the second half of season four. And will he eventually leave them and go back to the original show or will he stay here and continue to help them moving forward and into season five of Fear as well. So I'm interested to see what they do here. Again, not much to go off of, but I'm just curious to see what they do this episode because I think there's a lot of potential to, for big setups and some good storytelling in the second half with this potential Morgan helping the group after Madison's death. Next, we got episode 10 titled Close Your Eyes. Now, the synopsis for this episode reads, Alicia's forced to reckon with an antagonizing past while seeking refuge from a storm. Now, I'm assuming the antagonizing past in this episode will be Charlie since she was the antagonist in the first half. And she that's part of her past. Now, I'm, assume, I'm assuming that's the antagonizing past they're talking about. And I'm assuming that they're going to have these two bonding together or coming to terms or... Trying, Alicia trying to face Charlie after what's happened. And we haven't seen the trailer that these two spend some time together. So I'm interested to see what goes on there. How this encounter will go in the second half. Now one thing I'm a little nervous about. And I saw it in the trailer too. Is that they show these characters split up. So I'm nervous that they're going to keep these characters split up. For the entire second half again. I hope they don't. And they are still together. If they separate for an episode or two, I'm okay. But if they are completely separated after the for the entire second half, I'm going to be annoyed. But other than that, I think this is interesting. Definitely some good setup. And I'm interested to see where this storyline goes in the second half with Charlie and Alicia possibly coming to terms and maybe forming a, maybe like a big sisters kind of relationship there. So that's something I think would be interest, interesting to see. So leave your thoughts, opinions about that in the comment section down below. Next, we got episode 11, titled The Code. Now, the synopsis for this episode reads, Morgan's journey is derailed by some new acquaintances. Now, me presuming that these are some of the new characters we see in the trailer, the guy in the wheelchair and that trucker lady. We also, I also saw online that we're getting a new character played by Aaron Stanford, who played uh, Pyro in the X-Men films. And to me, who I'm more excited about, he played James Cole in the... The 12 Monkeys show that just ended recently. I'm very excited for him to be in this show. I think he's a great, amazing actor. And I can't wait to see what they do with him. And I hope he's a hero. Because if he's an antagonist, then he'll probably die quickly. So I'm hoping he's a hero. Because I think he's a great actor. And deserves to be in such a great franchise as The Walking Dead. But I'm very interested to see what goes on here. Does this have to do with him getting back home? Is he leaving to go back home and this is what derails him? Or is this something different? I'm interested to see what goes on in this episode. Uh, just because I'm curious about these new characters. Will we have a new antagonist? Or will the storm be pretty much our big bad of the, the second half? Or our hurdle that our heroes have to overcome? I'm curious because I think the storm is a good antagonist. I don't think we need any human antagonists. Especially coming off the vultures in the first half. And now dealing with the storm. I don't think we necessarily need a big bad. But I'm interested to see these new characters. And how do I kind of interact and change our group dynamic moving forward throughout the, re the rest of the season four. Next, we got episode 12 titled Week. Now, the synopsis for this episode reads, June helps when Al's health deteriorates. Morgan searches for friends lost in the storm. Now, that's interesting because I'm interested to see what goes on with this, with Al and with Al, how she ends up getting sick and what, like, why is her health deteriorating? Because this is something that I feel like, do we really need Al 
to be like dying or sick or something and June save her. I just feel like that re that plays out the whole John Dory situation in the f- in the first half, which I feel like went nowhere, and I don't feel like it's gonna go anywhere with Al either. Although I feel like Al's an expendable character. She's just there to hear our character story. Unless they make her a great character the second half, I don't think there's much to do with her this season. Uh, so she could be expendable, but I don't know. I just feel like, why does she need to be sick? Like, it just feels forced. Morgan's searching for his friends. This probably has something to do with him with the guy in the wheelchair and that trucker lady. That we see him interacting. They, the three of them probably team up and go look out for Alicia and the rest of the group. Maybe some of the other characters, that new characters that they're with. Maybe there's they lost some of their friends in the storm too. Something like that. I'm interested to see what goes on here again. I feel like Al getting sick and her health deteriorating. Is still playing off for the whole John Dory thing and just recycling story. So that I'm not too excited about. Unless it's amazing. But other than that, I think it's just filler. And I don't know. I'm just hoping it doesn't just take up time and... That's for things that just are resolved with like one episode. It just I just don't want that to happen. But leave your thoughts and opinions on this synopsis in the in the comment section down below. Also, an interesting thing to note is that this episode will be directed by Coleman Domingo, who plays Strand. So that's another interesting little tidbit of information I thought you guys might want to know. But like I said, leave your thoughts and opinions and predictions of this episode in the comment section down below. Next, we got episode thirteen titled. Blackjack. Now, synopsis for this episode reads: Strand and Dory are marooned. Luciana aids a man in need. The group's efforts to help a stranger puts everyone in danger. Now, this is interesting because right off the bat, the first time I noticed with this synopsis, it sounds like everybody is reunited, which I am excited for. I hope that's the way they go with the storyline. I hope like the first maybe four episodes they're separated then they reunite. I don't want them all split up for the rest of the season. That would just annoy me. But it does sound like John Dory and Strain might still be out of, out on their own. But I don't know. It could be that they just go on a side mission this episode after reuniting. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. Not much to go off with their story. Luciana helping, the, helping a man I think she's helping that old guy that we see in the car in the trailer. So I think that's who she's helping. Probably going to have something to do with her story moving on and dealing with the loss of Nick. And presumably everybody else maybe is helping her and saving him. Maybe it's attracting walkers or something. Or maybe this guy turns out to be a bad guy or something. So I don't know. I, there's not a lot to go on. It's very vague. So there's definitely some possibilities. But leave your thoughts and opinions on what you think is going to happen in this episode in the comment section down below. Next we got episode 14 titled mm 54 now the synopsis for this episode reads difficult decisions lead the group into uncertainty alicia delivers on a promise to charlie so right off the bat i want to say if you know what mm stands for if it's like something to do with the military or some kind of like code or something let me know in the comment section down below because i do not know that and i'd like to know if it does mean something or if you have any theories on what it might mean Please let me know in the comment section down below because I don't like to not know these kind of things unless it just has something to do with the story, which you might find out later on down the road. Then I'll just find out then. But uh, from the synopsis, this could have something to do with the last episode with how saving that person could, you know, lead them into into danger. With the this this, I think it might spill over into this episode with the group being in uncertainty. Meanwhile, we got Alicia and Charlie. Now that's something that interests me. I think Charlie at this point, as much as, you know, I feel like I know a lot of people are mad at her for the death of Nick. I don't know. For me, Nick was never a character I was that much connected to. So, I don't know. I feel like, I, I don't, like, Charlie, as much as, yes, I'm, I don't like her because she killed Nick. It's a character that I can understand her, her kind of, like, this person, like, killed, like, someone that she was friends with and someone she survived with. If Think of it if, this way. If we had followed Charlie from the beginning, 
we'd be we would have been rooting for throughout the story so i feel like i i don't feel like at this point for me i there's enough on the table for me to want charlie dead and i don't think they can kill charlie i think they have to do a redemption arc for her because i feel like what's the point of having her live after episode eight it just to kill her off later on this season just doesn't make any sense unless she goes out saving our group but still i feel like they should say that maybe for season five or six but I'm I'm interested to see what goes on here. Again, I think our group's going to be reunited. And I'm interested on the promise that Alicia is going to deliver to Charlie. Maybe it's her death. I don't know. I feel like that would just be weird, though. I don't know. I just, I'm just interested to see what goes on between these two characters. I think an interesting route to go with these two characters is maybe Alicia's like a big sister to Charlie or something. I don't know. Build off that dynamic. Maybe... Alicia can form another like family bond with Charlie. She lost her brother, even though Charlie's responsible for that. Maybe the two of them can come to some kind of gri- grip with that and form a bond where maybe Alicia's her like big sister or mother or something like that. I don't know. I think that might be an interesting thing that they could do. Next, we got episode 15 titled I Lose People. Now, the synopsis for this episode reads The group's hope falters as they seek a way out alicia and charlie reunite with friends now right away we can pretty much this confirms two things one alicia and charlie will be separated for the group from the group for the rest of the season up until this point and two charlie survives up until episode 15 so that's pretty much confirmed at this point Pretty much, you. I mean, like, this is like 100% confirmation. I don't think they're going to trick us like this. Unless, like, Charlie comes back as a walker or something and we should keep her for some reason. I don't see why the point of that, but that could happen, I guess. But I don't think that will happen. But moving on, the group's hope. I'm interested to see what goes on there, what causes them to lose so much hope. And what are they trying to get out of? Like, is, are they, did a villain trap them or something? Is this something that the storm left over? This is interesting to me. I'm interested also to see if someone will die since the title comes from I Lose People, which is Morgan's one of Morgan's sayings. So I'm interested to see if there will be another big death in this episode or a minor death. I think there could, there's a possibility that there could be a death in this episode. We might not, there might not be, but I think there's a small chance that you might want to keep your eye out because there might be someone who dies in this episode. But leave your thoughts and predictions for this episode in the comment section down below. Last, we got episode 16 titled, I Lose Myself. Now, again, this comes from Morgan Sane, and the synopsis comes, says, Morgan struggles to find the strength to help friends in dire need before it's too late. And that is interesting. I feel like this will conclude Morgan's story in fear, potentially. I do think that there might be a, this might be him saving them then he goes back home to alexandria i do think that's gonna happen i i've been thinking this for a while and i still do that morgan only reason morgan went to fear is to help boost ratings it didn't have anything to do with his story as much as the showrunners keep telling us i think it has something to do with ratings but that's beside the point for right now i think so, something happens in episode 15 where the survivors most of them, if not all, are captured maybe by a bad guy or something. And more and the entire episode will probably be Morgan having to save them and and then probably the aftermath of that. Not much else to go on there. I there's it's a very broad synopsis, so I can't give you too much predictions, but again I would watch out for death in episode sixteen. Especially since they a lot of times shows like to do a big death at the end of the season. But other than that, I can't give you anything else, I think. This I feel like just from these titles alone, I'm a tad bit nervous that the group will be separated for the rest of the season. But I'm also interested to see the group dynamics between these new characters like the showrunners have talked about. And how season 4 will conclude. And especially the stuff with the storm. I'm very excited for that. So leave your thoughts and predictions in the comment section down below about all that good stuff. So yeah guys, those are my thoughts and predictions for all the titles and synopsis for the second half of fear the walking dead season four if you like this video get a big thumbs up and share don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the bell icon that way you don't miss any future videos on fear the walking dead moving forward this has been vision here with blind entertainment and i will see you next time